Welcome to the Boss Report, Trinidad and Tobago. Well, today we're taking a look at one of the hottest new items on the investment uh, frontier, that is. We're talking, of course, about the NIF2 bond offer, which is now open and available to individual and other select uh, institutional type investors. Now, it's been the talk of the town. Let's look at some of the specifics. Uh, when uh, it's open or when the offer is open until and how you can invest and if it, if it is in fact right for you. So looking firstly at some of those key bond details, well, that issue date is expected to be the 9th of February, 2024. The bond offer is in total $400 million TT. It's going to offer investors a fixed rate of 4.5% per annum for a tenor of around five years with the maturity date of the 9th of February, 2029. And this is all information extracted from NIF's perspective. The commencement date for the offer would have begun, or would have begun rather uh, on the 22nd of January, 2024. So last Monday, the final date, unless otherwise prescribed by the issuer, is the 9th of February, 2024, to make those sus subscriptions. So as of today, you have just about two weeks. Uh, do we, don't wait until too late because next week is that pre-carnival hectic week, of course. Allotment of securities is expected to be determined by the 7th of March, 2024. Any electronic refunds for investors in the case of Uber subscription is expected to take place by the 12th of March, and the listing of the bond on the Trinidad and Tobago Stock Exchange is expected to occur on the 13th of March, 2024. Now, who can invest? Well, based on the prospectus and, of course, uh, pronouncement by the Honorable Minister of Finance, this is really geared towards the individual type investor. So there will be preferential treatment for individuals in terms of allocation. Small businesses or entities can also invest, and this is defined, and small businesses are defined as uh, entities with revenues of less than 25 million annually. And of course, credit unions and pension plans are also eligible to invest in NIF2. Now, what takes place uh, under different subscription scenarios? Well, there are an inf infinitesimal amount of, uh, of scenarios that could occur. So let's take two of the perhaps extremes. Uh, in this first scenario, we see where individual, the individual bucket is undersubscribed, uh, but there's uh, overall an oversubscription above that $400 million offer size, there will be a 100% allocation for individuals in that particular blue segment. So in this, in this particular example, individuals who would have subscribed for just about 200 of the entire $400 million issue would receive uh, their 200 million issue in total. Non-individuals in this particular case, which would comprise the small businesses, pension funds, and credit unions, uh, would in this in example would have subscribed for just over 500 million they would get a prorated allocation of on aggregate uh, 200 million so a roughly 40 percent allocation of what they would have subscribed for again this illustrates the preference being given to individuals who have been uh, crying out for some investment opportunities on the publicly listed exchange now in an in a, in a situation where the individuals are oversubscribed or that individual a bucket is oversubscribed in addition to the entire issue size being oversubscribed. We can see here, uh, for example, that individuals would have subscribed for just about 500 million with non-individual demand, of course, coming in at that 500 million again, uh, with an offer size of 400 million uh, available. Uh, individuals would be eligible to receive about 400 million or, or would receive the full 400 million of the offer size rather, uh, which results in an 80% uh, prorata allocation to individuals, non-individuals, or the non-individual segment would receive uh, no allocation of bonds in this particular scenario. Now, it's important to note that for individual investors subscribing for less than 20,000 in bonds, it is anticipated based on the prospectus that you will receive or you should receive 100% of your allocation. So while the individual uh, bucket on aggregate would be a prorata allocation of 80%. Those individuals that would be subscribing for more than 20,000 would get a less than 80% allocation of what their demand was. Those individuals who would have subscribed again for less than 20,000 in bonds would arguably re receive just about 100% of what they would have subscribed for. Now, is the NIF right for you? Well, there are certain significant benefits, one of them being that it is tax exempt income being paid uh, the interest payments are not subject to tax uh, it is of course going to be exchange traded on the trinidad and tobago stock exchange and it is in fact fully secured as well 
uh, by Republic Financial Holdings Limited shares, which is again a publicly traded stock, uh, in excess of the value of the bonds being issued. In fact, the value of this of the Republic Financial Holdings shares being uh, used as security or collateral for this particular bond is just around seven hundred and seventy to seven hundred and eighty million dollars, based on prevailing market prices for a bond issue that is four hundred million in size, so roughly a one point nine times. Uh, collateral to value ratio when we look at the value of the outstanding bond to be uh, on offer versus the collateral. Now, for in terms of some important considerations, well, of course, for investors, there's always that interest rate risk and, of course, the market and liquidity risk. And we highlight this, particularly in the context of investors who may be willing but not necessarily able uh, to hold a bond for their entire five-year period, given that it is going to be publicly traded or, or exchange traded. Uh, there could be some volatility in market prices and that in terms of the bond that it is meant to replace which is the original nif one series a tranche uh, we can see some of that uh, price history for that nf series e four and a half bond which was uh, which matured in 2023 we can see here that the performance in terms of price was relatively stable uh, initially offered at a uh, one dollar or 100 percent of face value it traded as high as 106 percent of its face value uh, towards the end however it did uh, dip to just about 90% of its face value. So again, for investors that are able and willing to hold the bond to maturity, uh, it's a, it seems to be a rock solid investment uh, in terms of very low credit risk, uh, security, and a reasonably attractive rate for investors that may have some cause uh, to sell the bond throughout the life of its maturity uh, or before its, its maturity in 2029, it may, well, you would be subject to market prices and that could be higher or lower than the initial price. Well, that's it for this week's edition. For more information, you can give us a call at 226-8773 or 2BOSS. Email us at invest.bossfinancial.com. And of course, you can check out all of our research absolutely free on our website at bossinvestment.com. And of course, you can catch this article on today's, on, in the business section of today's Trinidad and Tobago Guardian newspaper. Well, again, that's it. Stay safe, happy investing, and we'll see you next time on The Bosch Report. Mm -hmm.